Hi guys, Great Lake Coasters here. I'm going to talk about what I think Michigan's Adventure will get next on their roller coaster lineup. So, I'm not. Michigan's Adventure is a smaller park, and they always get the hand me downs. It's just. It's a sad. It's sad to see. It's kind of like how Jog Lake was at. Well, Jog Lake never got anything from Cedar Fair. But, yeah, Jog Lake ended up closing, which was sad, if you don't know. But here's our current ghosters they have Thunderhawk of Acoma SLC. Wolverine Wildcat, that is the weirdest name for a wooden roller coaster. It's like they couldn't decide if they wanted to call it Wolverine or Wildcat, so they put it together. They have Corkscrew and Shivering Timbers. There's more, I just didn't feel like naming them. Not that I didn't feel like it, I just I just went off the top of my head here. So, yeah. So, Michigan's Adventure. It's just not going to get anything great, guys. I'm sorry. We recently learned at Knot that the Sky, I think it's called Skyscraper or Skyride, their observation tower, got broken. And I've heard rumors that they're moving that. They're going to move that over to Michigan's Adventure. And they also just closed Boomerang. And Michigan's Adventure, surprisingly, doesn't have a Vacoma Boomerang. So this makes me almost 100% certain that Michigan's Adventure is going to end up with Knott's Berry Farms Boomerang. Yep. I I did a past video on this, if you saw that. If you didn't, this is... If you did see that, it was no surprise to you that I was going to say this. Otherwise, yeah, this is definitely what I think will end up happening. It's going to come in 2018, and I think it's exciting for the park. Because they haven't gotten anything since um, Thunderhawk in 2008. I don't know. I'd be excited if I was a Michigan Adventure person, but I'm not. I Home Park Cedar Point.